Hello. Welcome. Welcome friends. Welcome family. Welcome to my home and welcome to my sacred space that I prepared for us today. We have a new tarot deck today and it's super cute. It is the cat tarot. Um, I just have a short little thought of the day. I think I'm going to start separating my card readings from my meditation. That was a good suggestion that someone gave me and I think that I am going to implement that. It will make our card videos shorter. And those of you who want to come meditate with me for a little bit or have a thought of the day, well, we'll have a little thought of the day here. Um, anyway, that's how it's gonna work. I'm Olivia, this is Tarot and Coffee with Olivia and I'm here to do your daily pick Tarot reading. And today our card toppers are, we have a little acorn here. We have an obsidian arrowhead here. And then here we have a little snail shell. Uh, a shell, let's see if you can, if I can get a good picture of it for you. And then this is just a little piece of driftwood. I know none of them are super gorgeous, but they all have special meaning to me. And they all have a little to do with nature and that's exciting to me. Okay, uh, let's see, where are we? Um, I did introduce myself. I do want to let you know there are lots of ways to connect with me, so you can do that. Just uh, look in the description of this video, and you can hit up my link tree. Um, I do want to do a thought of the day, and I want to do a thought by George Bernard Shaw, who was a early, early influencer long before there was a thing that we called influencer. <laughs> George Bernard Shaw was, I guess, uh, you might know him as a playwright. Um, it, George Bernard Shaw had a lot to do with the way we think about things today in society. And one of the quotes that I really find very um, poignant, at least to me, is this one. A life spent making mistakes is not only more honorable, but more useful than a life spent of doing nothing. And that is an extremely inspiring quote to me. It's one of the most inspiring quotes. It's expiring. It's one of the most inspiring quotes I have encountered in a while, especially since I do this and this is one of those things where it's like I don't know what I'm doing and I'm uh, I kind of know what I'm doing I kind of think I know anyway it's better than doing nothing <laughs> so I hope my hope is to bring some light and goodness and give something of myself to the world in these dark times something a little bit lighter so that that is the the point but you know Things go and things go. And things change and we all know how it goes. Okay, so I've talked long enough because we are now going to make these videos a lot shorter is the hope. But we have a lot going on today. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Go ahead and take your time and pick your car topper. If you need to pause the video at this point so that you can have more time, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, I am going to pick up the cute little card that's under the acorn. Let's put this, let's put this little thing here so that we can stay looking at it. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> it's a kitty cat deck. So this is the six of pentacles. Is that what this is? <laughs> yes, that is what that is. Um, the Six of Pentacles, and I'm going to, uh, I brought the little stand out, um, so that I could read from the little book, from the little cat book, and I have all the pages marked, um, so we're not flipping around. The Six of Pentacles, you have an abundance. Don't forget that it's thanks to generosity and aid from others. Interesting. See, that's a really, that, every time I get a new deck, I get a new meaning for a card, for a card, and... This is really cute. Um, we also have uh, this one full. This is one full belly you have. If you've been blessed with more treats than others, perhaps it's time to share that which has been so freely given. So that is very interesting. So we have the Six of Pentacles here coming and telling you that, boy, you got, you got a lot. And boy, did a lot of people help you get that. And wow, isn't it time to share? 
And that is your card of the day. And that was under the acorn. And so now we're going to pick up what's under the black obsidian. And we have the four of pentacles. I believe that's what that is. You know, it's not real clear um, to me about what the, oh yes, it is. It's the four of pentacles. I had to put notes and I'm considering, I'm not going to write on the cards. Um, basically, let's look and see what our little book says about this card. And it is, whoops, it is the four of pentacles. The four of pentacles. That which you seek is coming into your possession. Ooh, do you want some more treats? Here they come. Things are looking stable and secure. Your treats are here and all feels right with the world. Just remember to keep a paw firmly on what's yours. You earned it after all. I got to tell you, Pinto is getting real excited hearing me talk about treats. <laughs> we, I might get mauled before this is all over with. Pinto is my cat. Um, okay, so that is a really positive card today. I really kind of enjoy um, the way these are described. Now we're going to pick up what's under the little shell, the sweet little shell here. And you have, well, that's a four of rods. That's easy to tell what that is. And that has a sweet little meaning too. Let me see if I can find it and read it for you quickly. The four of wands. It's been said that this is one of the happiest cards in the minor arcana and the key lies in sharing the pleasure and rejoicing in beauty together. And it looks like he's found, I think that is catnip. It doesn't really say in the description. Um, there's more to it. What's not to love? A wide lawn to sprawl on, bountiful sprays of catnip. Oh, it does say, here it is. Everything is calm and stable. A veritable wealth of joy and celebration has sprung up around you. So make some time to enjoy the rewards together with your loved ones. So, so far today we've all had very positive cards and I really enjoy that because when we have a day of dark cards, ugh, it's a heavy day. Well, this looks like it's maybe not going to be so heavy. So let's put this one right here, and then we're going to turn over last uh, but not a least uh, the next card, which is under the driftwood from the beach. I think it still has sand on it, even though I have washed it. <laughs> the tower. There we go, the tower. Now that's kind of a scary card, you can see, but we're gonna read the tower. The tower represents sudden and unexpected chains, chaos and upheaval. Everything may be thrown into question. Well, while it's not positive, it's kind of exciting. So it was drawn in the upright position, so I'm gonna read that part to you from the little cat book that we're reading. And it says, the tower is the foundation you have built carefully over time. The lightning strike seen through the window tells us that the unexpected change comes from a source far greater than ourselves. You may feel you have no power or control. Two cats dive from the tower, clearly startled and unsure of what's happening. Falling down, you are humbled. But what happens if you leap? So see, they've even put a positive spin on the tower card. And I really am kind of falling in love with this deck. I do have some, some things that I don't like about it already because it is hard. It is a little bit difficult to read, but I think once I get used to it, it's going to be a lot of fun. So um, here we are. This is it. This is how it's going to look from now on. We're going to try to do less than 10 minutes or so. And we're at the end of this video, so I hope you're able to get something helpful or hopeful to help fuel your spirit. Do take what resonates with you, but please do not make life-altering decisions or changes based on video pick-a-card readings. Please like, subscribe, and share, and come back tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Whoops, where's the off button? <laughs> I'm not sure. I think this is it.